Rosalie, go ahead. Thank you. Okay. Hi, everybody. Um, my name is Rosalie Mabona. Uh, I'm the product manager on the AP7181. And today we are going to cover a product overview and some of the value outlets and the selling points, go over a little bit about remote mounting and also uh, cover some uh, competitive information. We're going to hold all questions to the end. I'll uh, try to keep it to 45 minutes, and then we'll have 15 minutes left over for questions. Um, so I'd like to begin. OK, um, so I don't know if you guys are familiar with the um, WNS group. What we did uh, just at the beginning of last year was combine what I call the outdoor space and the indoor space for wireless broadband. And we combined it under a group called uh, WNS. So it's a, basically Mo Motorola's wireless broadband portfolio. We had the point-to-point -point, um, people that was basically the Authicon guys that were purchased, and the point-to-multipoint that was basically our Canopy product line. And the mesh product line was all outdoors. And our 802.11, uh, which I, I think Wincom has basically been partners with, which is our uh, legacy symbol product. We combined them all under one organization, and now we share a lot of product roadmaps and development. As a matter of fact, the 7181 has the same host board as the 7131, and the same GUI interface as the 7131 uh, with outdoor features added. So once you know the indoor product, Coming up to speed in the outdoor product will be uh, relatively simple. So, um, the 802.11n standard was adopted in uh, September 11, 2009. Now you're going to start to see all the, um, what I call the outdoor space. So the consumer space and the enterprise space adopted N over the last two or three years. You're going to start seeing the outdoor space start adopting N uh, outdoors. So um, I, I believe everybody is familiar with the um, backwards compatibility. All your legacy clients for 802.11, A, B, and G devices are actually can talk to .11n devices. You're going to start seeing in the consumer market and in laptops, all the new laptops by Intel and HP have .11n embedded in them. They're usually the Intel, uh, I think it's the 5100 series uh, Intel chip. And you, normally a two by two stream also. So you're going to see this. It'll take three to five years for a technology refresh. So um, I'm saying that because you're going to see.